As 1977 alum Kem Bolden, who is here tonight, Bolden, sorry, were challenging and meaningful, such as his production of 12 Angry Women in 1957, the year it was released. And this fall, we're going to present another one of Mr. J's uh, shows, uh, the historical drama Inherit the Wind, which Mr. Bolden played Henry Drummond, the lawyer based on Clarence Darrow. Upon his retirement in 1985, Mr. J continued working in the English department at Lakeland and also directed shows for the Masonic Temple. Among all of the titles he directed was the 1965 production of South Pacific, which was the very first musical that Menor Theater produced. As Nellie Forbush, as his Nellie Forbush, Elaine, and I know I'm going to butcher this name, Svet? Svet? Anyway, uh, Taylor wrote to me, most people thought it would never happen. It would be too hard to get the drama, band, and choral music departments together for such a large production. But Mr. J, Mr. Nordstrom, Mr. Stahlheim, and Mr. Henk made it happen. His dedication to the students in the program obviously drove its success. One alumni even commented that it was very difficult to say no to him, which I have no doubt helped push South Pacific to excellence. When he was chosen to be inducted, I tried to reach out to as many alumni um, as possible to help me sort of get a grasp of what this man was truly like. So many of them included words such as patient, forgiving, supportive, and understanding. And they also noted his optimism and also his enthusiasm. It is impossible to read through all of the comments without um, feeling like you knew Mr. J on some level. The way his former students wrote about him made his personality literally jump off the page. I wish I could read everything that was written, but here are just a few of the superlatives written. He set high standards and expected students to meet those standards. He brought out the best in everyone. We were lucky to have Mr. and Mrs. J. They were a great team. She was enthusiastic about the productions, even though the rehearsals probably required him to be away from home for long hours. Two alumni remembered some of the sayings that he would bring out when needed. He is remembered by Ken Bolden standing at the back of a lecture saying, less is more. And retired Colonel Craig Koontz remembers him saying, practice doesn't make perfect, it makes permanent. Perfect practice makes perfect. Karen Patterson is one of many former students who contacted me and is fortunately also here tonight. Her words about Mr. J are incredibly insightful to the man he truly was. She wrote, I think we could, each of us can recall two or three teachers who had a significant impact on our life. Bob J was one of those teachers for me. Our student teacher bond was forged through three years of being his student director for various productions. It was a privilege to watch him elicit the very best from each performer while gently guiding cast and crew to a production of excellence. He willingly made himself available to any student who needed him, despite his professional and personal responsibilities. Mr. J was often an advisor and counselor to me through the angst of my teen years. He served as a teacher, a mentor, a thespian, and a friend to thousands of students during his career at Mentor, which is a testament to his positive leadership and the legacy that endures to this day, not only in Mentor Theater, but to those whose lives he touched. It is an honor to induct Mr. J. Robert J. into the Mentor Theater Hall of Fame. <laughs> Unfortunately, Mr. J. is no longer with us, but his granddaughters, Chelsea and Nicole, are here to accept the award on his behalf. I don't need a microphone. Um, I myself am a teacher too, so I guess I know where I got it from. Um, we are so grateful to be here on our grandpa's behalf. Thank you for recognizing him tonight. We are incredibly lucky to have grown up with someone as passionate and as loving as he was. There was never a dull moment. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, his stories and jokes are endless. His impact on our lives is permanent and never fading. 
your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> my grandpa and I used to email back and forth all the time. I would tell him what was going on at school, church, with theater. He would always reply back with encouragement and stories about his own experiences and lots of advice. I found these just last night in some of our old emails and thought they would be perfect to share. Um, suggest, direct, but understand where they are coming from as well. If the lines come from the heart, you have a winner. And maybe some of you will remember this. I directed The Crucible at Menor High so many years ago. Had a good cast, the hard work paid off, and our players really deserved the praise and compliments they received. Somewhere, I have a pewter mug engraved with the play and the dates that the cast presented to me at our cast party. I seldom ventured out before the curtain, nor did I stay backstage during the play. I always watched the show from the back of the auditorium and paced to relax my stress. Had I remained backstage, I would have made the entire cast, crew, etc. nervous wrecks. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping inspire him and being part of a very special time in his life. Thank you. How you doing, everyone? Uh, I'm uh, Mr. J's uh, second oldest son. I wanted to read a poem. My dad was a great poet. It's called Someday. Someday we'll stop and visit. Reminisce old times exquisite. Someday we'll share a lunch date and linger, chatting till it's late. Someday we'll plan to get things done, then rest, relax, and enjoy a setting sun. Someday we'll take that trip postponed and call that friend on the telephone. Someday we'll surely do put off stuff promising to see it through. Some days are precious, some never arrive, while dear ones are still alive. Truth is, so oft along the way, our tomorrows become yesterday. Less is more, my dad said. He's blessed. Thank you. We are going to present the first award, which I will turn over to Lauren. Okay, I am here to present the award for best techie for the program. There were numerous students who have all made each 